Doubles! Doubles for the boys! <laughs> right there. Hold yours, pull yours down. Yes, that's what it's all about. Good evening and welcome back to another fishing adventure. As you can see, the light is fading, the night is drawing in, and we are about to get stuck in to hopefully some squid. Now it's coming into squid season, it's fastly approaching. I have been out here and there over the last month trying to pick off squid that are homing in on our shores. It's been a little bit slow, but I've decided to come out just before dark tonight and see if we can get one just before dark and then into darkness. The jigs I'm using is a red and yellowy, red mullet kind of jig with a rattle. And I'm fishing that on a two jig rig with a smaller one above. And what this is gonna do is I'm gonna fish one small jig above one big jig using a two jig rig, which you can see on other videos that I've made when we go squid fishing. All I'm gonna do is just cast it out, let these sink to the bottom, and hopefully we can get into a squid before darkness kicks in. Let's get stuck in. I don't want to keep you waiting. I want to catch some dinner. And yeah, cut my thumb today, so I'm uh, going to have to be a little bit careful. Hello. Now, depending on the depth of where you're fishing, depends on how long you let them go to the bottom. These are weighted jigs, but they're going to slowly float to the bottom, very slowly. So I'm just gonna keep a nice tight line on it. Just slowly jig them. Hopefully we can get into something, that is the plan. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna move around on this slipway and hopefully we can find some squiddy diddlies. But look at that, absolutely stunning night. I'm just using a really light spinning rod to 30 gram, nothing too heavy. The squid can be a little bit picky sometimes and pick at your lure. And you don't catch them. And as you can see, it's still slightly warm here in Jersey. I've still got the shorts on, so uh, sporting the shorts for the big win. Squid fishing can be done by everyone. It's just so easy, so chilled. You can fish one jig, you can fish two jigs. Yeah, do what you like. You can fish three jigs if you want. I have seen it before. Now, these particular areas that I'm fishing here might be a little bit different to where you're fishing. On the bottom here, we've got seagrass, very stringy green stuff that comes up off the bottom and there's patches of it absolutely everywhere in here. The squid absolutely love these areas. Good for the ambush and there's always a bit of prey around. Squid have huge eyes so they can home in at night on their prey. Now, when you're fishing at night, I tend to use a light that shines into the water Usually you can see the squid just coming in out of the darkness, chasing your lures or chasing fish. We will put a light out shortly when it gets too dark. Well, I was just sorting the lights out and I had my lure rod actually just dangled into the water and I've got our first squid of the session. Literally, the, the lure rod was dangling into the water and this thing just came out of nowhere and took my lure. First squid of the sesh. The light is not very good, it's a bit too bright. And it's taken a little pink, orange and yellow prawn-like lure. As I was saying, I wasn't, didn't even have my rod in the, in the water. I had it on the deck. And that squid just hit it. Nearly took my rod in, to be honest. I'm just waiting for my mate Ben to come down now and he's got some proper lights. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna light up an area Oh, there you go, that was a good squid bite. Just had a squid actually attack me, just like a bass would, a proper bang. And I'm just bringing this in ever so slowly. And we're in. Can you see my rod? Proper, oh, it's off. There we go, big bend. Really big bend on the rod. Can you see it pumping? That's a squid. This feels like a good squid as well. Proper big bend on the rod. 
That's why it's always good to have a light rod. Second squid of the session in quick succession. This one's a better one. Like I was saying, look at the size of that eye. Massive eye, can see everything in the night. Taking another yellow and pink squid jig. And this squid jig I got from AliExpress. Cheap as, they all work. Two squid to the good. Two lovely sized squid. I'm not really bothered about the size. If I get a big one, it's good fun. A nice way to humanely kill these is just with a jab and they'll go white. See this one's pinky color? Instantly white. Usually where there's one squid, there's usually more. And I've not even got the lights in the water yet, it's pitch black. Just cast out, let them sink, tighten up the drag. Let it sink, tighten up your line, little pump. Great fun and great fishing. I hope you can see on the camera what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Another one. Three. Big bend on the rod again. Don't pump your rods, just wind straight. Third squid, and he just soaked me. The cheap jig is doing its job here. I'm not casting far, I'm just winging it out, a little chuck letting it sink, just bump it, and that's three in a row. On nights like this where it's really quiet, it's just beautiful being out here. Catching a few squiddies, having some fun, relaxing, winding down after work. Yeah. As you can see in this area, it's absolutely pitch black. Mind the farm, I know it's funny. Pitch black. Now I have been catching squid in the pitch black, but what we tend to do, is use a squid light or any kind of light which lights up the area. And this attracts bait fish like scad, which we had the other night. Loads of small little critters and small fish and prey to the, to the squid. And usually they hang around on the outside of the light, but usually they'll chase your squid jigs right into here. Now with the added attraction of the light, hopefully that's gonna bring some more bait fish in. As you can see, Benny just had one straight away. As I always say, everybody can do this, it's good fun. <coughs> We're gonna try and stock up, get ourselves a feed. I like to use, oh, there we go. I like to get myself a feed and then the big bend turns up. Yeah. Oh, are you in as well? Yeah. Doubles. Double trouble! I've got a big one here, mate. Yeah. I've got a really I've good one. <laughs> oh, have you got a double? Come and show that to the cam. Oh, I've got two as well. <laughs> hey, cheeky. Doubles. Doubles for the boys! <laughs> right there. Hold yours, pull yours down. Yes, that's what it's all about. Benny's just come down, we're loading up. All good fun, what squid are you using? Ben's yeah. using that cheapy AliExpress and a nice expensive one on the top, but try and get in that shot, mate. Get down. Yes, man. Buzzing, that's what it's about. Just remember to kill them humanely and have some fun. Like I was just saying, this is the squid jig that I'm using at the moment. This is a very cheap lure. These are about pound seventy-five each from a Chinese and kind of knockoff AliExpress kind of thing. 
not the best i reckon if a really big squid wanted it it would proper chew it up but compared to something that's a little bit more expensive this one wasn't really doing anything for me last night and ben was using a cheapy like so and it was absolutely killing it so prices of squid jigs obviously jig, squid jigs that are expensive are very good like these kind of things very good on their day but it doesn't mean that you've got to spend loads of money forking out for a load of these when you can get a couple of knockoffs as well that are doing just as good like i was just saying before we were just saying that we just had like a, a mental moment of a pack attack where the squid were just on. There must have been that many of them. We both double hooked up. We thought we were into some big ones, but we had two at a time, baby. Yeah. Where's that little doggy again? Oh, a little dogfish on the surface. In the last couple of nights, we've started to see these dogfish and it is kind of like they've just been born. They've just come out of the mermaid's purse. We seen one and we thought, oh, that's just it floating around. And then we've seen another, two of them together. So there must be a dogfish baby making station around this area, or there has been. Pretty cool what the light shining on the water brings in. It must be attracted to it. Maybe there's something around that it's feeding around, but it's just squirming around on the surface. It's pretty cool to see. I'm really surprised a squid hasn't actually taken it and eaten it. This does happen sometimes. Jigs get caught up on each other. The good thing about squid jigs is, a little prong, if you just push away from the line, usually it comes off, or if you just give it a little twist, the line will come from underneath one, around, and then underneath another, and then usually you'll be off two or three times. If it's more than that, you've got a real bad tangle. Right, we are coming to the conclusion of this session. Has really slowed down and the squid have kind of just turned off. We're picking them off here and there, but we've not seen as many or caught as many as we were before. Giving it a solid two hours and we've picked up 15, maybe 15 squid. Some really nice ones, but we've seen some big ones. Ben just had a giant squid right next to his is lure and I've been dying to try and get some underwater footage of some squid coming up and maybe attacking the lures. But all in all it's been a quality session. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna clean these squid up, ready for squid ring, calamari, booty. Thanks for watching. Hope you really enjoyed it. Quality session. Oh are you into another? Oh look at the bend on that rod just before we go. <laughs> Follow it. Oh yeah, here we go. Bring that in. There we go. Oh. Leave it go in. Leave it go in. He'll take that. He'll take that. He'll take that. Now, when it comes to squid cleaning. I like to leave my squid overnight in the fridge. Just something that I've done forever. Once I've taken them out of the fridge the next day, I like to run them underwater, clean the slime, all the dirt and everything on the squid, on the body, off. To remove the wings and to remove the skin, I like to dig one of my fingers underneath the wing on the top of the mantle. I like to run my finger, breaking the skin which attaches the wing to the mantle and running it to the point underneath the skin towards the next wing. Peeling it very, very gently 
that making sure the skin detaches from the whole mantle itself. Run it down and pull all of the skin away. Now, if you can do it nicely like I have here, all of the skin will come away from the body in one. I then pull away the head and then wash the inside, making sure that I remove the backbone from inside and any guts. Washing, letting the water run from underneath the tap into the body and squeezing out any excess dirt, gut or mess that's on the squid itself. And there you have it. Very simple, very effective. Nothing needed like a fork, a knife, a spoon. Really depends on how you do it. That is the easiest way for me to clean them. I then use the scissors to chop them into rings where I put them into bags. But also I put the head, because I love to use the head for conga bait, into bags and freeze them down. That is how you clean a squid in my books.